Like so many events this month, Momentum Dance Company has had to cancel their spring performance, something that the community was really looking forward to. But I managed to talk Jacqueline Forcher with Momentum Dance Company and Loris Anthony Beckles with Beckles Dancing Company come in and talk about ways that we can keep the arts and, uh, and dance alive and other ways to get creative during this shelter in place order. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you. I was welcome. so sad, but I mean, obviously everything, mm -hmm. everything has to go because we've got to keep the community's health mm -hmm. uh, uh, uppermost yeah. right now, but just not to titillate the audience, mm -hmm. but you know, I, I want to know what you guys were planning to do because you worked together so, so long. Yeah, mm -hmm. we were having a collaboration again. We try and do every year. We were, have been working on Loris's ballet he did for Momentum in 2006. Oh, yes. Wow. To dive so we surface we were going to perform it with his group and then perform his uh, group is performing with us as well as his work and what people don't understand is that we actually started in December January wow. they see the shows that we put on but we've been rehearsing for months on end mm -hmm. and it just stopped last Sunday yeah. after all those months and hours yeah. and that is the case when yeah. you've got any of the arts the right. our job is to make mm -hmm. this look Mm -hmm. effortless when of exactly. course it takes more effort more than more effort and planning and thought and rehearsal and so on but what was interesting about our show in particular our collaboration is that half some not half but my company and her company were dancing together for the first time not only my oh company my dancing oh my her gosh. show yeah. and her um, vice versa but together so some of my people would be in her show in addition to us and some of my people would be in her show in addition to my people so it was nice would have been nice yes we still plan to do it again though well yeah and let's talk we about determined. that so the the <clears throat> we shouldn't maybe say that the performance was canceled maybe postponed hoping for postponed we're mm -hmm. looking as soon as this clears up a little bit, and I'm not adverse at all to a summer date, mm -hmm. and because uh, we just need the time to pick back up and start rehearsing again. Mm -hmm. And so I've already been checking with my dancers to see their availability. Mm -hmm. And that's all that we can do at this moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, it, it is. And so we do what we have to, absolutely. Yes. So that, uh, like I said, we keep the community's health mm -hmm. uppermost, but during this interim, you've got dancers who make a living oh, yeah. dancing. Mm -hmm. And if they're not dancing, they're teaching. So mm -hmm. both their streams of income mm -hmm. are cut off. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge challenge. It is. Um, it's very difficult. A lot of my teachers in particular, including my own son, they're contract labor. So they're not even, they can't get unemployment if you're contract labor. And uh, there's no teaching to be had. Uh, I know there's some virtual ways to do it, however, no real dancer is going to yeah. benefit from that. Mm -hmm. You got to be in a classroom. You need to be. You need to have somebody to fix that line. Yes. Somebody to tweak. You can You can give class, throw class at folks, but unless you're there to fix and adjust and refine, then it doesn't happen. Well, you're exercising, but you're not necessarily dancing. I guess right, the thing, and you're you know. exercising. Maybe, you know, some people said do not practice. Well, some of, my, some of the teaching at my time was do not practice at home because you're practicing what you think is right. It might be wrong. You do need the teacher's eye live. So that's the, the issue we're facing right now, yeah, and it's trying to be there, and you can't be there in addition yeah. to the financial loss. Yeah, so, and speaking of that, mm -hmm. if uh, folks in the audience who ha are watching this want to know how they can help, obviously a donation would be helpful. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, we accept donations year round. It's not just grants, it's not just tic ticket sales. We need the money all the time because there are still bills to be paid. Mm -hmm. Most of my staff is stipend. Um, Loris's staff is a different matter. They yeah. are dependent on their income from the ballet dance Actually, company. Actually, one person, or a managing assistant, decided to donate her pay, which is low to begin with, to one of the dancers because oh. his wow. income, complete income, everything he did, interacted with the people. Wow. With people. Yeah. So he's like sitting at home with you no know. money. So she did that. But, but you know, I yeah. think that it's awful, it's awful. The production right now is awful, but I think with resilience and creativity and our concentration on health for all, we'll make it. 
you know, we just I'm have to have great shows on TV, <laughs> and then yes. they get tired of the couches and go out and see us. <laughs> just, I just want to mention to our viewing audience, we are absolutely maintaining yes. that social distancing, you know, yeah, so that we're, we're closer. so that so yes. that we're because we're all good friends, and mm. so it feels weird to be I doing know. this, but it's air the critical hugs. thing. Yeah, lots of air <laughs> hugs. So, folks, if you would like to help, if you're a fan as I am of both of these wonderful dance companies in our community, if you'd like to help, please go to their website for more information. So that would be MomentumDanceCompany.org and BeckelsDancingCo.org. Mm -hmm.